Welcome back in, everybody. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy, right here on the Golf Talk Radio Network. Don't forget, we're brought to you by Sundale Country Club, 661-831-5224, sundalecountryclub.com. Any minute now, we'll have uh, Chris Rigby calling us from the patronscaddy.com. So if you guys are thinking about heading over to Augusta, uh, we can tell you firsthand, two years ago, we went with Chris and uh, the patrons caddy, and it was just an amazing experience. We we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. I'll tell you that, and thank God Chris was there, because otherwise I think it would have been somewhat well, disastrous. It started at the airport, I believe. <laughs> yeah, but Tilly called. You know, I had, you know, it, it's, a, it's a pretty penny to go. It's like a vacation income, yeah. right, if you're planning on a vacation. So, you know, you put this money in, and you have high expectations, and I had extremely high expectations. I've been dreaming about going to the Masters my whole life, and... Uh, and I can tell you, it surpassed all of my expectations. I was blown away from, you know, I, had, I set the bar high, and they, they, they jumped right over the top of that bar, at least for me. And I think you guys feel the yeah. same way. Oh, because I'm no doubt. And I was just blown, the treatment that we got and the, the, the personal service that we got. Um, and then the more I, afterwards, I was like, wow, if this is typical. Um, this is a pretty good deal, but this company's not typical. Most companies, though, you you know, you pay your five grand or whatever it is, and you go get you're there, and they put you in a hotel, and you're kind of on your own. They drop you off in a bus in front of the place with fifty other people. They don't feed you. They don't, you know, and you're staying in hotel rooms with you know four in a room and stuff like yeah. that because these tickets to the Augusta is not easy. And so it's if it's a bucket list item, which it was for me, and the truth is, it still is. Is I can't wait to go back. It's something you have to go, and if you're going to do it, do it right. And this was right, except for when they took took pictures of you. In the I was going to say, the, <laughs> I was going to say the video activity but they in were the gonna, morning. They were doing a promo video, and it was kind of fun that we were part of that at the time. But I'll tell you one thing, Mike. It was a blast, yeah. and I I had the best fun for three days. Laps, you know, from the airplane going to the airplane coming home. It was just nonstop awesome, and I was. <laughs> Goosebumps the entire time. Yeah, we were, so, off, so, we were off and running from the get go. So Chris Rigby <laughs> and, and Patrons Caddy is the finest company to go in a package you got to go with. So hopefully he is. He, He's right on the Oh, line cool. Here. Chris, welcome in. Are Hi, Billy. Good How? morning, Mike. How are you guys? Hey, Chris. Hey, Good morning. Chris. We were just bragging about you, buddy. Just bragging. How are you? I heard. I'll, I'll take that every time. Absolutely. <laughs> well, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's also in the opening of the show we mentioned it's here. It's December 1st. And Masters is on our mind, and it's so unusual. You know, it's usually you come spring, people start thinking about the Masters, and I know Chris, you must think about long before that because of what you do. But for most people, you're not thinking about the Masters even in the business until the next year or the current year. So it's kind of exciting that we're doing this so early, Chris, because you know we're coming. By the way, we have a team, buddy. We're coming. We're gonna work with you. But uh, let's talk about you and your company. So before we jump into it. Um, tell us a little bit about you again, and uh, and then I've got some uh, quick questions to ask you, and we'll talk about the amazing, uh, op, you know, amazing opportunities you offer. So tell us about you, Chris. Chris, did we lose him? He was a, he was a shy child. He was a shy child. <laughs> Let's see. We'll see if he see if he calls me. <laughs> he never had a lot to say growing up, <laughs> but uh, he came out of his shell, and when he comes, maybe we'll get him back. But uh, wow, I don't know what happened there. So anyway, we should we what we can do is talk about how what we did to get yeah. there. You know, we'll wait for him to call back too. Well, yeah, and it, and once we get we'll get to what he includes in his trips. But I don't think any of us expect knew what there was going to be included, right? We didn't know. I mean, we knew we were going to stay in some houses. I knew that much, but I didn't know the lim the, the limo driver or the vans, really nice vans, to and fro anywhere you wanted to go at any Plus time. Plus, the drivers were so great, the, and their tour guides too. I mean, yeah. the guy, the dude we had, what was his name? There was well, we had a couple, but the one guy who lived in town, he took me over to his rant, his farm, and he drove around his the was little that Jake, town. Jason, maybe. No, what was his name? Um, you know, remember he was the coach. He was also a coach yeah. for football. Yeah, but he was the nicest kid, and, and I say kid, he probably was thirty. I don't know how old he was, but it was. He took us around, so not only was we drove us to the Augusta and picked us up, but he you know, took me to the store, and he took me around just the different properties they owned and did the tour of the little South, you know, um, South Carolina, the river, all the way up to his river. It's pretty darn cool, man. I love that guy. And you call him up, he's there, picks you up, takes you anywhere you want to go. 
Yeah, no, that his his staff was second to none. They took you to that. You did parachuting that weekend. He took you out to the jump site. No, I got there and I got cold feet. Oh, so okay, yeah, I was out. After the, I was out after that because I know he's going to pick you up. And did you know, any rolled bull, bulls or something? Did you ride bulls? <laughs> bulls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to kill some time here. You're trying to kill some time, <laughs> but uh, well, here I think one of the things that that again when we talked, I mentioned it earlier about when you go to the to the Masters, you know, you for one thing, like flying straight in there is not easy, you know. So we flew into Atlanta, which actually was easy because we had Chris and the patrons caddy. They picked us up in Atlanta, and what was it, an hour and a half drive? Oh, I think it was more. No, it, yeah, it's about an hour and a half. We were excited. Felt like more. So and we were hungover from the giant margarita. Oh, from God. Before. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that? I forgot about that. <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> so, but it, yeah, I think it's, you know, maybe we want to have two hours. But, you know, they, they want you to fly into Augusta Airport, which is closer. But they will pick you up in Atlanta. Right. It says it right here. It's so there. much cheaper to go to Atlanta. Yeah, it is. Especially and from, I was the from, travel agent, yeah, as great, I remember. Yeah, great job, Nikki. I we, did a great job. We flew Spirit. And we had a great job done with no, spirit. No, we we laughed. <laughs> we we did laugh. Oh, it was it was food it, for laughs it for was, how it was, long? A year? It was comedy. I it could, was total yeah. comedy. I, I didn't even have an armrest. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't pay extra for we armrest. We called them trailets. In the little trailets that came out for the like the trays and airplanes, they were one or two inches. You couldn't even put your cell yeah. phone on. They it. were they were just as big, just about was, as big as my hand. There was the oh, smallest geez. little <laughs> tray. <laughs> You could put a water bottle. You could bottle barely on it. put a water bottle there, yeah. literally. And then yeah. you couldn't put a magazine. There's no way yeah. anything like that. Or your or your laptop or your yeah. or your tablet. But and, and the where the magazines are were held on by bungee cords. Literally. Remember? They were bungee yeah, cords. Yeah, it was like the stretch <laughs> the stretch pocket. <laughs> and if you wanted to read a six bucks a magazine. You know Excuse me, could use the restroom three dollars. You know one of the memories I, I have? You know how you have memories from when you started and memories from when you come when you're coming back from your vacations? I have a memory of you. I don't know why, because you were sitting next to the window and I was in the middle. Me? And your <laughs> your 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 pad or your tablet wouldn't work. <laughs> oh yeah, I, was, I couldn't get the thing to come. <laughs> he's got the spirit taking his finger. <laughs> he's pounding the screen. <laughs> you know, he puts it down and then he's like. And the Wi-Fi wasn't working yeah, or something. Spirit, man. And so, <laughs> they have a little tiny antenna on the plane top. And yeah. Like four people. So then it like started and then it was like he stopped and like 15 minutes later he's like pounded, that, <laughs> pounded his finger against the screen like it's going to go, like it, the, the thing's going to start working and you it's, know you get all still, flustered, your hair's all messed up. It's and, still entering things I touched. Yeah, it's, it's still opening things. <laughs> that so That's how many times I hit that button. But those are the moments of like oh, when the, you take a the asbestos trip. getting into the airplane. <laughs> I think I have that right. <laughs> they were oh, doing in LAX. They were doing construction, and we're walking up the ramp with you know those plastic walls everywhere. Construction, and this big powder puff comes flying through us. <laughs> From they remember they were tearing yeah. down the wall, and we right got, into Mike's we face. got hit with this cloud of dust. <laughs> so Mike gets hit with asbestos. <laughs> oh my god! I laughed for an hour. You were choking. You had it in your eyes. God, it was and then the bad. names, <laughs> the names on the ticket. Oh yeah, we couldn't even get in because I was Willa. It wasn't William. Yeah, you were yeah. Willa, and, and Mike was Mike Dave. and my, Mikey. Yeah, yeah, so you put Mikey, and she, you wouldn't even let you almost you on yeah. because you're not Mikey. It has to be Michael. His and first name was Willa Deva instead David, of William. William, it was Willa instead of William, and mine was Mikey. <laughs> and they, they wouldn't let me on. So this is your name. I said I'm not Willa. It's just the M didn't print did we, out. Did we write a complaint letter to the travel agent for that? <laughs> we did, did, we, did we? You did, and <laughs> I had to prove with documentation that I had entered your names exactly correctly. So you know, I get Mike's getting. Hey Mike, I my, wouldn't complain too much. <laughs> You get the same travel agent, you might get, be going back on blimp next year. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> now that travel agent retired. I yeah. hear. Well, my, Mike was getting a glove, sir. He was getting cavity searched because all that, and the dogs are running around now because our names are wrong. It was crazy. And Butch is laughing. And Butch cut in line. He was way up. To, remember what he says? <laughs> but you know what's so amazing? It's like that's 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 when you didn't have Tommy John. I know. I have Tommy John now. <laughs> You're right. And you're really lucky I got pulled to the side. <laughs> That's true. I, you got they you. took you instead of me. Yeah, that would have been, been pulled funny. to the side. Huh? I thought, you, I thought they took you, you into the room. I thought it was you. No, it didn't take me you. into the room. Yeah, they pulled me to the side and did the scanning. I had three did, people but. that had confirmed Willa was actually William. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> it's, it's all the Nikki's fault. She's over lapping. Trying to book a uh, you know armrest for us to get on the airplane. Huh? Book an armrest. <laughs> I mean, I had I, I literally didn't have an armrest. 
Uh, uh, this is your flight attendant. Uh, if you'd like to purchase an extra flight, uh, an extra armrest, <laughs> we're selling them for three dollars in the cockpit. Please. So, uh, so I have to hold we, my we don't arms take up. cash, <laughs> so you're going to need to pull out your credit card or debit card and, and ten forms of ID. Please. And it has to match your exact name on your ticket. Yes. Ah, so so that's what started the trip. Oh, by the way, the armrests are only right-handed. <laughs> 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 and you were wondering why I was messing with my machine. So then we said, uh, once we got into Atlanta, we had let's go have you know let's go down to the Mexican place, have some food, get a drink. And there's we are so we had margaritas. Butch was going to order us these margaritas. He right? did order <laughs> us margaritas, but he said uh, they said what size do you like? I'll make it the biggest you got. Well, they have these the pitcher ones that are come in mugs that are literally four or five margaritas. I think they're four margaritas. It's a lot. We thought he was getting one. Yeah, for the group, for all of us. He bought us each one. So we all had our own gallon of margarita. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, was, they were like fifty bucks a pop. Remember? It was yeah. they were a lot. It was like more. And it's yeah. like, wow, I thought, what are you doing? But she well, I didn't know they asked for the biggest one they got. Four of them. So this is our if anybody's joined us, this is our trip to the <laughs> Masters in 2016. This we haven't even been, we haven't even gotten to Augusta yet. Yeah, this is just that I barely got back to the hotel. Thank so God you, we walked. Do you remember? We did. We, we did. Walked. We, we did. walked. Yeah. But that was a rough walk home, man. I'm just, just remember. <laughs> well, and the guy that put his drink through the hole for the sh- well, I was just gonna say, do you remember? So the, the restaurant Dave had it. It had a hole in the table for all your so shells you could put and- a bowl in there for giant for the crab legs. Oh, okay. And throw uh-huh. that in there. And they put the pot, you pull the pot out. So, so it's all. one of the guys with us, I don't know what he's, if he slid his drink. And he wasn't drinking the big marks either. No, he just kind of slid his drink, like moved it over, and he Oops. pushed it right through the hole. And there was no hole. <laughs> <laughs> right through the bottom of the table. And everybody's feet are covered in bourbon. Margarita. In bourbon. Yeah. Oh, it was bourbon? Yeah. It was just... Oh, it was everywhere. It Did was, anybody finish their marks? I think no, I, oh, my I gosh. So I, was, I got halfway through. I, I was have. spinning. <laughs> <laughs> I was, they were strong. I throw well, cheers ten bucks. I'm going to pay for mine. He yeah. says, "Dude, that won't even come close to covering it." I didn't have any idea. I think they were about thirty, they were thirty-five up there. a piece. Yeah, they were. I up. think that's what it was. Wow. <laughs> yeah, thirty-five a piece. <laughs> Bush was rolling with the punches, though. Yeah, yeah, big time. And then we, they picked us up almost at sun up and got brought us up to the houses in Augusta. We went over to the guys, you know, that Wednesday and. It was kind of because remember the the PJ guys could get in Wednesday, right? right? And so, but you guys did get in, right, Nikki? They gave you. They finally you and Butch got in later in that not afternoon. When, you had tickets, or may, yeah, or maybe it was Butch and and Andy. Butch and Andy, I think, went in. We we didn't go. We ended up not going in. You and I did. We walked yeah, around. You had Wednesday. my camera. Oh, we we, we you had my the camera. camera. That's where and it we was. followed Willet, Willet right from the first yeah. tee. We saw. I Willet. still have those pictures. That's right. So That's instead right. of going down and watching the par three, we went up to see Willet. But you guys, they were normally would bring the team over to some bar that has you know all the you know the, right. the Masters flair, and you can watch it on TV. TV. But Butch got in. He got in with That's Andy. Right. I thought it was with Nikki because they had tickets. Somehow they got him tickets. So it was really kind of neat because we didn't see them in right. there, but we got to go. I walked oh, around yeah. the whole golf course, and we like Mike and I. Yeah. The coolest, weirdest thing is the very first shot I saw hit from anybody at the Masters was this guy named Willett. I never heard of him. Right. Never seen that first shot. He was alone on the first tee with his what, caddy. Was it? It was cool how they were talking though. And yeah, and it's like, who is this guy? So then it turned out he was. He ended up the champion that year. I know. It's not it's funny. It's just the weirdest. <clears throat> I, even, I know. Didn't know who he was. I didn't. You know. I got to get those pictures from you. Okay. Because I lost them all. Oh, okay. I have yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to have those. And then, you know, and we'll talk to him about it, but the coolest thing was them putting chairs out. I mean, oh, yeah. That yeah. was wow. the, the chair thing was amazing. We we uh <laughs> we were supposed to have Chris Rigby on. We lost the connection. I believe he's out of the United out of the country right now, which is probably Oh, part of the that problem. could be it. Well we'll get him back in the next week or so. Yeah. We have to because this is too big. If you are listening and you want to go to the best ex- have the best experience ever in the Masters, we always dreamed about going to the Masters. We encourage you to come with us. We're going to take eight, man. That's my goal. We've got, I think, five or six that are pretty much secure right now. At least I hope so. And uh, and we'd like a few more from listeners. So if you want to call, just have them contact Mike or myself, and we'll send you all the details and information. I can promise you it's the most fun and the most quality trip yeah. that you'll ever imagine. You know, it yeah. was it was real comfortable for us. Yeah, just there go never, to... Uh, there was never a tense moment, right? I don't right. remember being stressed in any way. Every, all of, except for when you were in the shower and the cameras came in. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> but that, they didn't really come in, did they? I mean, we were they upstairs. They were pretty with close. <laughs> I had to, like, peer out the door. It was like 6 in the morning. The lights come oh, on. Oh, my gosh. Right. Oh, my Good gosh. Good morning. We're like, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> filming. We're filming. Us up. That's so funny. <laughs> but you guys go to golftalkradio.com. Contact us on the uh, winner's trivia form if you, uh, you want to try to... Uh, 
to join us at, the, at Augusta in 2019. So that'd be great. And uh, we thank uh, Chris Rigby uh, and the patronscaddy.com. So partner up with them if you would. Any questions, again, email us uh, through the tri- Trivia Winners link on golftalkradio.com and also visit the patronscaddy.com website. It'll kind of give you everything you need to know. So we'll be right back. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy right here on the Golf Talk Radio Network. I mean, for what you get. Left half. 